Good afternoon, and we're live here at Hans uh, Whitman Town Hall for the results of election 2019. My name's Bob Hayes, and we're broadcasting for WHCA production. This was a very, very hotly contested selectman's race on the ballot here today, and we had four people running for two seats. So we're going to have the results shortly. We're waiting for the town clerk to come out and give us her numbers. But in the meantime, we had Dawn Byers. She was running unopposed for school committee for one of the seats. Dawn, what do you think about the action that went on in today's election? I'm excited to be part of the school committee. Looking forward to advocating for all our students in the district, both Whitman and Hanson. What did you think about all the politicking that went on aside from the race that you ran with the selectmen? I think it's important the voters had a choice of four candidates and looking forward to hearing the results. Okay, Dom, well, thank you. And the other candidate for school committee is Dan Cullody. Dan, you ran unopposed, but this was a widely and hotly contested selectman's race. What did you think? Um, four candidates. Um, town now gets to choose between who, which two sit, sit on the board. I mean, what about the Prop 2.5 override? Um, it's not an override. It's a debt exclusion. Um, just to take the money for the outside, uh, from under the levy, so we can um, put it out there for a tax for 10 years and it will come back down. We need that done um, to free up capital. So we, we got things we have to pay for. Well, congratulations to be elected, re-elected back to the school committee. As you just heard from two candidates for school committee, this race has several ramifications. It had four candidates running. It also had the prop two and a half debt exclusion for the police station, fire station, and the town hall debt, which brought out approximately 1,400 candidates on this beautiful sunny day. So we're going to have the results very soon as the town clerk comes out. We have quite a few people standing here in the lobby waiting for the results. We had a giant crew outside still politicking right until 5 o'clock, so it should prove interesting in the next few minutes we will have the results. I have one of the selectmen here today. Oh, wait, we got a break and we have the results. I'm with the town clerk here. I will, thank you. Good evening. Um, just so you guys know, these tapes are a little bit different than the normal tapes, so blanks will not be read first, they will be read last, whereas they used to be read first. So we are in precinct one. Selectman's race, Brian J. Bazanson, 158. Scott Joseph Lambiasi, 133. Christopher Diorio, 110. Justin Evans, 266. There are two write ins and there are 91 blanks. <coughs> Excuse me, the assessor's race, Carol O'Brien, 287. Write ins, three, and blanks, 90. Pre K, um, Whitman Hanson Regional School District Committee. Daniel Cullody, 227. Dawn M. Byers, 261. Write ins, three. Number of blanks are 269. Department of Public Works Commissioners. Kevin T. Cleary, 249. Bruce W. Varley, 252. Write ins, 12. Blanks, 247. Public Library Trustees. Rob, Roberta L. F. Ellis Drew, sorry, 268. Lauren A. Kelly, 287. Write ins, two. Number of blanks, 203. Whitman Housing Authority, Catherine A. Callaher, 274. Write ins, one. Blanks, 105. Planning Board for the one year, Adam J. Somerville, 287. Write ins, one. Number of blanks, 92. Planning Board, two year, Elaine M. Bergeron, 286. Write ins, one. Number of blanks, 93. Board of Health, Eric F. Jubit, 281, write-ins 2, blanks 97. And then the question, yes, 195, no, 171, and blanks are 14. That's precinct 1. Precinct 2 will go as follows. Selectman's race, Brian J. Bazanson, 157, Scott Joseph Lambiasi, 101, Christopher Diorio, 114, Justin Evans, 248, write-ins 2, and 76 blanks. Assessor Carol O'Brien, 273, write-ins three, blanks 73. Pre-K through 12 Whitman Hanson Regional School District Committee, Daniel P. Cullody, 214, 
Don M. Byers, 256, write-ins 10, number of um, blanks are 218. Kevin T. Cl DPW, um, Department of Public Works Commissioners. Kevin T. Clary, 240. Bruce W. Varley, 232, write-ins 10, number of blanks, 216. Public Library Trustees, Roberta F. Ellis Drews, 245. Lauren A. Kelly, 263, write-in six, number of blanks, 184. Whitman Housing Authority, Catherine A. Callaher, 256, write-ins four, blanks, 89. Planning Board for the one year, Adam J. Somerville, 266, write-ins one, blanks, 82. Planning Board for two year, Elaine M. Bergeron, 269, write-ins one, blanks, 79. Board of Health. Eric F. Jubit, 266, write-ins two, blanks, 81. Question one, yes, 183, no, 151, 15 blanks. Precinct number three, Selectman, Brian J. Bazanson, 155. Scott Joseph Lambiasi, 96. Christopher DiOrio, 117. Justin Evans, 253. Write-ins zero, blanks, 87. Carol O'Brien, oh, Assessor, Carol O'Brien, 280, write-ins three, blanks, 71. Pre-K through 12, Whitman Hanson Regional School District Committee. Daniel P. Cullity, 217. Dawn M. Byers, 262, write-ins two, number of blanks, um, 227. Department of Public Works, Kevin T. Cleary, 250. Bruce W. Varley, 245, write-ins two, number of blanks, 211. Public Library Trustees, Roberta F. Ellis Drews, 258, Lauren A. Kelly, 281, write-ins one, number of blanks, 168. Whitman Housing Authority, Catherine A. Callaher, 260, write-ins one, blanks, 93. Planning Board, one year term, Adam J. Somerville, 266, write-ins zero, number of blanks, are, are 88. Planning Board for the two year term, Elaine M. Bergeron, 268, write-ins zero, number of blanks, 86. Board of Health, Eric Jubit, 269, write-ins two, and blanks, 83. Question one, yes, 201, no, 144, nine blanks. And precinct four. Selectman, Brian J. Bazanson, 132. Scott Joseph Lambiasi, 104. Christopher DiOrio, 109. Justin Evans, 255. Write-ins, four. Blanks, 68. Assessors, 272. Oh, Carol O'Brien, 272. Write-ins, two. Number of blanks, 62. Pre-K through 12, Whitman Hanson Regional School District. Daniel P. Cullity, 215. Don M. Byers, 254. Write-ins, three. Blanks, 200. Department of Public Works, Kevin T. Clary, 243. Bruce W. Varley, 234. Write-ins, 14. Number of blanks, 181. Public Library Trustees, Roberta F. Ellis Drews, 245. Lauren A. Kelly, 276. Write-ins, 2. Blanks, 149. Whitman Housing Authority, Catherine A. Callaher, 250. Write-ins, 4. Number of blanks, 82. Planning Board, one year. Adam J. Somerville, 268. Write-ins, three. Number of blanks, 65. Planning Board, two years. Elaine Bergeron, 271. Write-ins, one. Number of blanks, 64. Board of Health. Eric F. Jubit, 270. Write-ins, three. Blanks, 63. And the question? Um, yes, 167, no, 156, total blanks, one thir I mean 13. And can I just add one thing? Um, for those of you who do want to get sworn in, um, let me just do my totals myself. I kind of have it in my head. Um, but if you give me like five or ten minutes, if you want to come over to my office, I can um, swear you in this evening if you'd like. Um, otherwise, we can meet up next week sometime, okay? All righty, thank you so much. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as you just heard the results from the town clerk here, we have two successful candidates here for selectmen. It appears Brian J. Bazanson, candidate for re-election,
has been reelected, and Brian's coming over right now to give us a little discussion. Brian, congratulations. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you to all the voters who came out today. Brian, you spent a tremendous amount of time. This was probably one of the hottest races that had gone on, maybe even statewide. What do you test your victory to? Well, I just think that um, sometimes people like stability. They like the, the fact that someone's been there a while. Experience does matter. Um, and uh, I want to congratulate all the candidates who, who uh, ran today because it was, it was a very spirited race. Uh, congratulations to Mr. Evans for taking the top spot. Um, I, I'm just thrilled that the people still had faith in me to, that I could still do the job for them. Well, your slogan, from Whitman, for Whitman, was very catchy. I loved it. it. It's, you know, my heart is Whitman. I'm a Whitman born and bred guy. And, and so I, I really liked that. And, and congratulations. And we look forward to working together as we move forward. Thank you, Brian. We have with us uh, ex-state rep Jeff Deal. He spent quite a bit of time with both of the candidates that were all of the candidates talking it was quite a race. What do you think, Jeff? You're a seasoned politician, and, you know, you've been here, you've done that. Sure. Well, you know, first of all, I want to congratulate all the candidates who ran. I mean, to put yourself out there, put your name on the ballot, it's not easy. Researching the issues, listening to the voters, that's always important. So no matter what the final tally is, I think everybody who ran, it's always a, a good job to them for, to do that. Um, I'm not sure if the, the final results are in yet, but I think that uh, it seems like, you know, um, Whitman, the turnout, wasn't huge, but it wasn't small. It was a it was a good representation of what we typically get, I think, uh, on election day like this. So, from the people I saw out there when I was, um, you know, just seeing people driving by or coming by and talking, they the citizens also seemed pretty aware of the issues. And when they were going in to vote, they seemed to know what they were going to do today. So I, that's always a good sign that people have taken the time to get informed. And I know local media, whether it's been radio, TV, or uh, the newspapers, have done a good job of running the issues and giving candidates a forum as well. Well, when you have 1,400 voters come out on a beautiful sunny day like today, it's probably a good thing. As you know, it was a very, very uh, hotly contested race. We had four very spirited candidates, and I couldn't say more about them either because democracy is definitely here in Whitman. Well, you, you, you run for office yourself, uh, so you know what it's all about, too. To oh, yeah, Jeff, it's Thank tough. You so much. All right, take care. Well, next up, we have... Uh, uh, I should say new selectman, Justin Evans. Thank Justin, you. congratulations. Thank you very much. You got a ton of votes here today. I think you got over 1,000 votes. Over 1,000 by my count, yeah. Yeah, you were the, probably the bit largest vote getter today. Yep. What do you attribute your successes to? You know, I started running late January, early February, knocking on doors, just, just doing it all in ground game, getting my name out there, uh, meeting as many people as I can. I think that resonated with voters. It, oh, it most definitely did. You got over 1,000 votes. Do you think that... You know, as, as life has changed with social media and, and what goes on with campaigns, do you think that that played a part also? It definitely did. It was a, a core focus of my campaign to get out there on, on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, and just, I wanted to connect with people where they were at. And I think that the, I mean, the turnout shows that it seems to have worked. Do you think that when you were standing outside, and I understand all the candidates were out there today, and as I said to Jeff just a few minutes ago, it's very important to have democracy in small towns and yeah. big towns in the United States. Without it, we'd be in trouble. Do you think that you got out a large majority of younger votes? Because you were probably the youngest candidate. You were the youngest yeah. candidate by a lot. Yeah, uh, yeah I think that I, I noticed people walking into town hall younger than I've seen in previous years. So I think that that, that probably uh, correlates to me getting a few more votes. Well, the first meeting, you're going to be able to hit, with the, hit the ground with your feet running because you were a former... Um, finance committee member, uh, do you, are you going to keep both, or w what's your plan? No, I'll be resigning the finance committee. I'll have to send a letter to Mike Seeley uh, as soon as I can. Well, again, congratulations on a hard, hard race, and you won, and you got the most votes. And thank, thank you for you. that. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. We still have a spirited group kind of hanging around here at uh, Town Hall in Whitman. The override debt exclusion did pass. I don't know by how many votes they're tallying them up right now, but I believe it did pass, and it was fairly close, actually. It was a fairly close vote, so we'll be getting back to you with that in a moment. Uh, Dan Salvucci, 
I have Selectman Salvucci, he's the vice chair of the board of Selectman. Dan, you've seen a lot of races. I believe you were in your fifth or sixth term. Sixth term. What did you think of today's race? Well, I think the people were looking for some change, but they also wanted some stability. So I guess uh, Ms. Evans was the change and Mr. Bazanson was the stability that the taxpayers were looking for. Moving forward, do you think this is going to cha change the demographics of the Board of Selectmen a lot? Uh, you know, people w were talking about that, and, and, and there was a lot of buzzwords about that, depending. You know, it's been a tough year for everybody budget-wise. What do you think? I think, well, first of all, our next meeting, the 28th, will probably reorganize, and how it comes out, it comes out. Once that's done, then we have to start looking for the future, and uh, if Mr. Evans has some new ideas, he'll bring it to the board, and and we'll see if it will work for the town of Whitman. And uh, sometimes new ideas are good, sometimes uh, old ideas are good. I mean, we, we need to put some balance in our board, and apparently uh, taxpayers got what they wanted. Well, now we, we had a successful yes on the question of the debt exclusion. How do you think that's going to turn out? I, well, it was a little bit closer than I thought. I thought that the yes would be a lot more, but uh, taxpayers have uh, stated what they want. They and they think that uh, our suggestion of doing the, the debt exclusion to finish paying off for the police station for the next uh, 10 or 11 years, that way it alleviates and, and it loosens up some money for capital items, which is a good thing. We don't let capital items go, which will a dollar today, but two dollars tomorrow. So I believe that the taxpayers looked at what we did and what we suggested and agreed with us, and they voted for it. Okay, well thanks, Dan, and okay. good luck in the future. Okay. Well, as we just said, we have two new selectmen to the board here. Well, we have one that was re-elected, and we have uh, Justin Evans, who's new to the board. The debt exclusion did pass by a quite, quite a close margin, and the rest of the, there were really no other races in Whitman to speak of. Everybody was incumbents that were get, getting re-elected, so they were all re-elected. We're here live from the town hall, and this is a WHCA production. Thank you from Whitman Town Hall.